Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to the Five Lives, Five Elves run. We have run four of the five elves already, so let's buckle down and finish this last one. Um, the goal of the run, of course, being to try and prove that elves are viable. This, uh, you know, I can viably get an elf going, and to do so without resorting to overuse of magic. Um, the last three runs have been a hybrid build that began as a conjurer, just enough to get Mephitic going, and then turned archer slash swordsman. Um, and so that's why they were hybrids because their their spells were their skills are split between swordsmanship and archery. I would say that the build as a, in and of itself seems to be very robust, and the results have been fairly nice. Uh, we've had two clear successes at beating the lair, and in fact clearing most of the lair. The last one died before he could complete all of the lair. He got to like floor five, I believe, out of eight, but. He did so because I kind of engaged Gastronok at half health instead of, you know, engaging him at full health. Uh, the one before that is in my top five, so obviously a success story. Elf 5, I feel like doing something a little bit crazy with him, as opposed to something reasonable or intelligent. So the plan for Elf 5 is going to be, let's go pure archer. No swordsman skills training, no fighting training, maybe armor training, and obviously just enough to get Mephitic going. I like that build enough that I'm going to stick with it. But let's make this guy the best archer ever. Let's try and get the archery skill up to 20 or higher is kind of the goal. And this is not necessarily the smartest way to play. Quite the contrary, this may well be the dumbest way to play because it's like intentionally saying I'm going to ignore obvious uh, avenues for uh, increase in ability in favor of mastering a, sk a skill that I actually I don't actually really need to be much higher than it is. And that's fine because, you know, we've already had enough successes. Let's make this one a little bit more challenging by having a little bit of fun with it. And uh, if I die, I die. I'm immediately putting on that leather armor I found to try and get leather armor training up early because I will eventually want to train armors. Um... I've fallen in love with using or, uh, troll armor on non-casting uh, runs. And, you know, I would obviously swap troll armor for superior quality armor, but in my experience, high quality armors inevitably screw up my spellcasting ability too much to be worth the while. Oh, please don't die to a hobgoblin. That would just be too cruel. Okay, good. Let's get my life back. I was really worried I was going to die there. This first floor, you really can never tell what kind of things are going to happen to you. For example, I just put on a ring. It turns out to be Teleportitis Cursed, which means I'm going to randomly teleport for until I find a some means of taking this ring off. Most likely, you know, a uh, scroll of remove curse. For example, I just randomly teleported twice there make the early game a whole lot harder and a whole lot more prone to deadly moments when you can't regenerate health. Man, being an elf is great as, as far as casting is concerned. Now remember, the rule wasn't that I can't hold a sword or use a sword, but rather that um, I'm not going to train swordsmanship, meaning that it's going to drop off in usefulness and plummet very, very quickly. And that's fine with me, I mean, I don't really care. Because if I do my Robin Hood thing right, it's it's not the safest build, but it should get the job done. Let's not waste any time in reading every scroll I have and hoping that one of them is uh, the Remove Curse. There we go. Now I can take off the damn ring. Uh, an uncursed ring of teleportation that used to be a cursed ring, it still... It will still randomly teleport you, but you can also actively te uh, order it to teleport you. Uh, unfortunately, that requires decent e evocation, invocation, evocation training, and I don't want to put that in because that's a lot of experience for an ability I don't make much use of. If I was a Spriggan, totally different story. They get evocation skill like crazy. Come, come now. Yeah, 
forgot, without Okawaru, I have no use for poison corpses for the entire early game. And without Amulet of the Gourmand, a lot of that food goes waste. Alrighty, can I memorize it yet? Not yet. A little bit longer. How about armor training? Not yet. A little bit longer. There we go. Now I can do both. Let's get strength up. And fit a cloud up. Nothing to eat yet. Armor training not ready yet. Yeah, I think it's something about being an elf because my mana never feels like it's too low. I can carry those with me. Still nothing. Altar to Zom, the Lord of Chaos, who usually surrounds his altar with teleport traps to tick off auto travel. Alright, spellcasting is up to level 4. One more level, and there's no need to level it anymore. Well, maybe level 6 if we're being peckish. Really, it's armor that I want to start training soon now. So that reminds me that I switched it to my autocast, or not my autocast, my hotkey. Let's see what kind of mana I can get back. Yeah, I'm just going as quickly as I can because at this point I think you guys already, if you've been watching the video series, have a good idea how I play the early game out and nothing's changed so no reason to go into any more depth. Alright, 20% at armor training. I think the reason my armor training is going so slowly is because I did choose leather armor, and that's the lowest level of armor that you can that you can still train armor with. Though I am surprised, I admit, that swords got trained sooner. Would not have expected that. Let's wear some more armor stuffs, obviously. Build up a little stock of arrows. Alrighty, armor skill is trainable now, so let's put that on high speed training. Drop spell casting to low speed training, but you know, still keep training it because this mephitic is not yet any good. Uh oh, crazy youth, and I'm low on mana. I'm gonna run away from him and hope he doesn't see me. Because I do want to get off a good mephitic on him before. I fight him. There we go. I think he's hitting himself. I think he hit me. There we go, now he's dead. And that of course leaves me free to pick up his cloak. You know, I thought it was a lot of luck that I managed to get so many different armor pieces in the last run. But now that I'm thinking about it, finding Crazy Youth gets me the cloak, that's one. Going around the dungeon, you always see armor all the time, I just never pick it up. But uh, armor is a given, that's two. So really, you just add one more piece to that, and that's pretty much my entire armor set. You got the gloves, oh no, I guess it's still, you got gloves and you've got other stuff. But getting a full armor set is not as impossibly difficult as it sounds like, even early on, it's more like getting a good set which takes time. Uh, let's go ahead and rest a little bit before going back down and taking these guys out. And I don't mean for dinner and candles. Hmm. 
Alrighty, floor four, we're all the closer to the Okawaru altar right now. I have a corpse, I have a corpse. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Who cares? Spellcasting is at level five and not close to level up, so we drop it. Fitted Cloud is still only at good. I would like it to go higher, but I'm going to wait until I have a level of poison and air magic before I start getting concerned as to how high it is. And don't forget that I am still training armor skill, so that's gonna that's also gonna assist with my consistency of casting. Meanwhile, with all of the experience that I'm spending on, uh, or all of the attacks I'm sp I'm shooting off with my my magic dart, not devoting experience to spell casting, I expect my overall experience gain to go high, spill skill skill leveling to go a lot faster. Uh, yeah, I can't beat them both. I only have three mana left, and I'm very reliant on my thingy right now. My uh magic dart. So let's run. But if you insist, I will kill you. I mean, <laughs> there you go. But yeah, I'm pretty much spam casting magic dart without having to worry about what I level because I'm still training my end game skill of armor successfully. God, it loves running from me. It's confused and it's randomly doing exactly what it should be. Running in terror. Mephitic Cloud's still not good enough, so let's put in for one more level of something. I say spell casting because that's a good generic skill. It applies to all spells and reduces hunger. The reason... I didn't have that brilliant plus intelligence ring this time around that I had last time, so it's taking longer to get it reliable. Still boosting strength. My uh, intelligence went up with the level up as well, so that's going to help a little bit. Fizzy Silvery Potion. Nothing to eat. Armor skill going up again and again and again. Eat whatever there is to eat. I'm continuing to explore. Alright, that's another floor down. We go. So now, um, actually, let's go up a floor and read a bunch of unidentified scrolls now, because it, it's still worth our while to figure out what's what here. And if we can do it in the relative safety of a floor that we've already examined, so be it. Alrighty, that's that then. Another ogre bites the dust. Oh, I should actually figure out these potions too. Next time I go upstairs, I'll figure out the potions. Bubbling yellow, degeneration, I lose intelligence. Mutation, lose your temper in combat, gain intelligence metabolism. That's a terrible set of mutations. It's an even worse. Hopefully one of these is going to be cure mutation because without that this is going to be a very challenging run. Gain strength, restore abilities, gain dexterity, Poison, Brilliance, Cure Mutation. It still left the one that I really didn't want. You tend to lose your combat, your temper in combat. Oh well, no matter. I've identified a bunch of potions. Um, 
and I can't spit poison anymore, so there goes that. Still no ecumenical temples, still no centaurs. I could really use either of those. On the other hand, here's a special armor. Let's uh, remove curse on what I've got. I mean remove curse and put it on, see what it does. Resist poison, strength minus one. Okay, I will keep that for now because resisting poison lets me use mephitic at point blank range and that's a definite advantage. You may have noticed the mutation is called digest meat inefficiently. What that means is that if I eat breads, um, I get you know my I get the same food value I always would. But if I eat meats like chunks of meat, I get l much less nutritional value out of it. Not zero, but less. Which means that all of a sudden honeycombs and bread rations are much more valuable to me than you know meat chunks. And of course, slain corpses now are even harder to decide who gets a copy, me or my god. He's not mephitic Now he's mephitic But, mephitic or not, he's still, still kicking my ass, so let's leave him behind for now. Alrighty, there we go. That's one. It looks like he may have killed himself or been killed by that hobgoblin in his confused state. So, whatever. Alright, that's floor 5. Still no ecumenical temple, still no okuwaru, and some really nasty mutations for my trouble. So, whatever. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Because at this... For, for better or worse, this is still proving to be an efficient run, and I'm still on track for getting to the, the lair. Though I freely admit I would much rather have uh, found a centaur by now and been training up my main attack skill, bows, since I intend to make this a mono bow run. Spellcasting is about to level up, and once it does, I can turn it off. Okay. Still waiting on some kind of advantage. Yeah, if you guys want to know what an unlucky run looks like, this is what an unlucky run looks like. No interesting or useful items, and a series of bad luck with regard to the item identification process. But thanks to my particular choice of spells and utilities, I'm not as badly affected by my bad luck as I might have been in, say, a different run where I was more dependent on good items to get me going. Like, I would not want to be a dragon in this situation. Okay, I'm going to dump a bunch of my armors that I'm not using. An old leather robe, visored helmet, instead of a plumed helmet, yeah, all this stuff can stay. and unfreaking believable a confused blind stumbling ogre dealt m more damage to me than his quite aware young zombie friend I'm just trying to picture what it, how dumb it must look like to be an elf that gets hit by a confused stumbling bumbling ogre with a club when your dexterity is as high as mine is alrighty that's so far so good 
And my god, is this going to be the next... This is going to be the third time in a row where I'm not going to be getting an Okuwaru altar early. You know, just for once, it'd be nice to get an Okuwaru altar on the fourth floor or fifth floor instead of on the last floor. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was paying for the good luck I had in my first run where I was using a terrible, terrible build. Thing is, Crawl doesn't bias you like that. It has no idea what I used to do. Alright, Sandstarver sc covered scare ca staircase means lots of undead, no food, and potentially negative potions. But I'll go in. I can kill undead fairly well, and I have plenty of perma food on hand, so I won't start to death here either. Potion of mutation, confusion, curse armor, confusion, unknown, positive enchantment on weapons. I'll leave all the other junk here. Restore abilities, unknown. You know, these unknowns scare me, so I'm going to go ahead and ID them instead of reading them. I'm used to getting a lot of bad stuff in these places. Yep, sure enough, they were also bad for me. They were curse items. And I'll drop the Ring of Teleportation, which has been recursed by the zombie. I'm going to hide inside his cubbyhole while I regenerate and maybe eat something to come back to health from. Yeah, definitely a good idea to go inside here. I got a free level up off of it. Okay, that's door number one. Door number two, multiple mummies. An alarm trap to make absolutely sure that everything in the dungeon knows I'm here now. A bunch of beneficial healing potions, an unknown human black potion, extra identifies gold link. So this was actually a relatively good cache. The thing about these ossuaries, where you find uh, where you find lots and lots of uh, undead, is that the rewards they put in here are just as often bad as they are good. So be ready for that. Uh, Found the Enchant Armor Scrolls. Here's to hoping I find some troll hide later on. And Scroll of Amnesia, and that's that. Everything I need identified is identified. Or no, I have a quaffable. I'll drink I'll drink my last two quaffables. I'm hoping for a cure mutation. There's a paralysis and levitation. Levitation prevents you from ever hitting traps that are on the floor. I mean, you know, springing traps. Oh, yay! Cure mutation! Drink that, sucker. I now no longer have any mutations on me, so going into the ossuary was definitely worth it. It's nice how luck balances out. The reason I'm not using any of my uh, uncursed scrolls is because these things are full of mummies, and I'm bound to get recursed, so no point doing that until I'm done. One scroll of uncurse will will uncurse every cursed item you're wearing. Not every cursed item in your inventory, but every cursed item you're wearing. So with a little bit of creativity, let's see what's been cursed now. Every armor piece that I'm wearing is cursed. My dagger is cursed. And that's it. So, one remove curse ought to do it. I'm completely free of curses now. Out I go. I actually didn't have to do it then either. I could have waited until I next need to switch items, but uh, hey, I'm feeling generous. Unfortunately, that generosity just got me recursed <laughs> by the m latest mummy I killed. Still, scrolls of remove curse are cheap. As you see, I already had several of them. This is a very bad situation for me, so what I'm going to do is Mephitic Cloud the Orc so that he blocks the whites from catching up while I run towards the stairs post haste. Fortunately, I apparently can't see my monitor because that was not the way to the stairs at all. Let's kill the nearest guy. The thing is, I can't even use my dagger against him because my dagger is a dagger of draining, and I'm pretty sure if you drain an undead creature like a white, uh, bad things happen to you, and maybe it even gets stronger. I don't know. 
kind of like you don't want to use a demonic blade against a demon. I'm not actually sure if that's a game mechanic or not, but yeah. Or you don't want to use an ice blade against an ice monster. There we go. That's a good example. It's a shame, too, because I did have a potion of uh, gain strength somewhere in that mix. Now my strength is down to 8 when it could have been higher. Well, no Okuwaru altar at all, so now we're on the final floor where it must appear, and just judging by that metal door, I'm guessing that's where it is, so I'm going to head back there and just use Mephitic as a crowd control to stop them from charging after me. That was right. Here it is. I think I saw Okuwaru's altar. I did not. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Okuwaru and the Shining One are the only altars I have yet to find. They're still guaranteed to appear somewhere by floor 9, but um, I'm getting very impatient now because they really should have been there. This is about as bad luck as you can have while doing a run like this, where you accidentally get cursed, can't find the altar you need, etc, etc. There's an Amulet of Faith here for 360 gold. I'll be sure to pick that up as soon as I have 15 more gold, because that should boost my piety gaining a lot, and I could definitely use some faster piety gain considering how much of a delay I've taken in getting started. I'm also kind of upset because I haven't seen a single centaur in all of these floors, and in fact the whole dungeon has only spawned 31 arrows that I've found thus far. So yeah, I'm kind of pissed off at how bad this run is going for me. And yet, despite my pissed offness, the co particular combination I'm running allows me to ignore it. I'm get I have seven levels of armor skill. That's a lot of armor to be getting on with. I'm going to turn on fighting and traps and doors just to get those up to snuff while I'm waiting. I have lots of skills I need trained, and they're all being trained for me. Um, Let's go ahead, remove curse, and try on the jeweled ring mail. Because it doesn't have a minus one to strength. That drops my mephitic to. Vi my mephitic is still at very good because. Oh no, I never put it on. That's why. Let's put it on now. Drop my mephitic to fair. That's not good enough. Resists necrotic and boosts my aim, but it's cursed. I gotta remove curse. I'm out of remove curse spells. And I'm just going to drop back to leather armor until I'm comfortable with the level to which this has been trained. <sighs> Put back on the cloak. Drop something that's weighing me down. Oh, I was wrong. I've been picking up the arrows along the way. Okay, so my luck isn't as bad as it could have been. I have enough arrows to be getting on with once I eventually get a bow off of a centaur. Where's the temple, actually? I'm going to drop all of my meat rations right here. So if I ever need uh, food, uh, there's Okawaru's altar. Wouldn't you know it, it was just around the river bend, Just far enough to piss me off. Not far enough to actually affect my game. And there's the gold I need to buy the Amulet of Faith. Okie dokie. This run suddenly became interesting. Uh, I still need to get archery up and training. I, it's times like this I'm glad that that elves have such high archery bonuses. I could that I can start archery so late and still get so much out of it. Actually, I should be burning corpses now, shouldn't I? easy to forget when you've been doing so long not doing that. I forget what gave me poison immunity, but I remember that somehow I got poison immunity, so I'm working with it. Yes! Okay, normally this would be a no situation, but one, I need the piety, and second, I have the mephitic spell, so 
these guys should not be a big deal. Just close the door, wait for somebody to open it for me. And if nobody opens it, I'll open it. And just mephitic cloud into them again. And somebody opens the door, that's the time to re mephitic a lot of them. And I'm not comfortable with how close they're getting to me now, so I have to back off which is going to dramatically reduce the amount of damage I can do to them since they won't remain in this burst formation forever. But I cannot, but while they're confused and adjacent to me, I'm not scared of them. Uh, I can probably get in one more good mephitic here. There we go. Oh yes, a wand of draining. Perfect. Get a lot of hits. A lot of hits. boost my strength further, and my mana is going to be so low that by the time it regenerates I'll probably get off two more mephitics, maybe just one, but that won't matter because by the looks of it I've killed all the big kobolds except for two, and only one of whom is not mephitic already. Nope, none of them are not mephitic. And I'll probably get enough mana to run a Mephitic on him later on. Okay, there it is. Burst 5 of, of Kobolds killed. Gonna burn all of these corpses. And now my Piety has recovered from the fact that I wasn't able to get any piety for half the match thus far. I'm going to take the Dagger of Electrocution because Electrocution is a rare resistance. Uh, I already have this Dagger of... Uh... Okay. I can put on the Cursed Ring of Protection, which will give me plus 4 to AC, but will not come off till I uncurse it. I don't have any Remove Curses uh, rings anywhere in the dungeon, but I have faith that I'll find one, and plus 4 to my AC is always valuable, so we'll put that sucker on. Uh -huh. Okie dokie. Um... Let's push on a little bit further and see what's on this floor. So again, this was not a lucky run by any stretch of imagination. Quite the contrary, it was a very unlucky run for a long time. But balanced out, and there was never a point where it looked like I was definitely going to die. There were some, you know, there were a couple close calls, but nothing that even remotely looked like I was definitely going to die. And now I have two pips of piety, so... Ha! Huh. I always love when poisonous creatures can't resist poison. It's like they're hypocrites. Okie dokie, that's... a bunch of clears. Oh my god, an ice dragon hide. Ice dragon hide means I can get ice dragon armor by enchanting it with a scroll of enchant armor. I have at least one scroll of enchant armor. I don't remember if I have more than that, but I do remember I picked up one. Ice dragon armor, and by extension the ice resistance that comes with it, is very high level armor. Definitely useful if I attempt, you know, if I'm going to get further in the game. Not as much useful right now when, you know, I'm still in the early game stage. I'm going to leave that be. It's not my first choice for what I would want to uh, spend my precious, precious scroll of thingy on, but uh, later on, who knows, we'll see what happens. All of these look like fun spells, but I just remembered that Okuwaru very much dislikes it, in fact will put me under penance if I get an ally killed, so I don't want any summon spells.
let's see how this works. I'm going to go Z and B. Nothing happens because I killed it in one hit. Z, B. Nothing happens. Okay, well, if this spell works like I think it does, it means that I can confuse a target by meleeing it. And if that's true, it's an excellent weapon for a stabber who needs to confuse their target to get stab damage. But on Robin Hood, it will be useless. I'll play around with that spell some other time and try and figure out what it does. Uh, actually, read identify Q. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't randomly put that one on. Uh, I don't have any scroll to undo it with, and it would have crippled my strength. Okie dokie. Once more, I have too much food on hand, so I'm going to go ahead and eat a lot of it just to lose a bit of weight, and more importantly, to preserve my corpses for sacrificing. Because, again, I started getting piety late, so I need to catch up. And drop all of this negative stuff that I seem to be carrying around with me for some reason. And drop the enchant armor scroll so I don't lose it li for later. And heck, drop the six remove curse spe scrolls that I somehow acquired between last time and now. Oh, I couldn't be happier. A centaur who leaves me an uncursed bow and ruined arrows. And the bow boosts my evasion. The arrows are arrows of flame. Let's drop... Uh, well, actually, what, is, what do these wands actually do? Wand of cold. Let's keep one of them and drop one of them. I'll get come back for it if I need it. And let's also drop all the scrolls of enchant weapon so that they don't get damaged. And half the scrolls of identify because I have too many. And all of the books because I don't need them. And I'll worry about the stash properly later. Okay. This floor is just about complete. <sighs> There's that last other, the other last altar, to the shining one. So now I found all the altars by floor eight, which is great. Um. Let's finish the job now. I have to, what, get to the ecumenical temple? Is that the challenge? Hopefully between those two mephitic clouds there will be some kills, and even if not, I can always uh, pick them off when they show up again. I'm going to start using my arrows now to try and build up the archery skill. By the way, Traps and Doors is up to 10% or thir up to level 3, so we'll turn it off until I really need it later. Fighting is high enough for now, so again, we're just going to focus, 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 and this time on bows. Let's go ahead and pick this stuff up. Well, let's kill him first, and given that he's a zombie, fire is probably less effective. I, I, at least that's what I think, I don't know. Got him. And, incidentally, got both skills. So, turning off armor, because it's level 9. 
focusing down bow skills. That does not mean I have to use the bow, it just means that I have to uh, kill stuff and passively train bow skills now until that they're, they're at a spot where I'm comfortable making that my main weapon. And then we're going to turn this guy into a straight up Robin Hood elf. That's my new thing. Robin Hood was an elf. Wore green, relatively short stature. From what I hear, he never dies. Or that just might have been his, have been his legend. I'm not entirely positive on that count. Yeah, I'd rather have a plus three to hit electric dagger right now than a bonus damage dagger, because right now my enemies don't have enough health that I'm concerned about low damage output. And by the time they do have enough health that I'm concerned, I won't be using a dagger, hopefully. Oh, damn, I didn't mean to eat to do this. Let's get out of here. I have low mana. <laughs> Eat all the cheese. There's a yak. Let's take him down like a boss. Uh, bow of evasion. Just start shooting the sucker before he reaches me and then electrocute him when he does. And magic dart him on his way out. Uh, inventory items, switch items, let's put the bow on W as usual. Got him. Uh, I vote for electrocution. No, I'm going to use a dagger that I don't actually really want. That way when, not if, he starts degrading it, I can throw away the dagger. because at this point I have no acid resistance, so it's virtually guaranteed he's going to degrade whatever he I hit him with. There we go. Another one down. Another one down. Let's go ahead and sack these corpses before they get rotten. Okie dokie. Alright, and already my bow skills are reasonably solid because if you look, just going... well, bad example, okay. My to hit still sucks, but when I do hit, it's pretty dangerous, so... Not complaining yet. Like, that was a one-hit kill. That was a two-hit kill. I'm used to playing a Spriggan where every piece of food you get is a huge deal, so it's still kind of an adjustment to realize that the amount of food I'm getting is actually sort of kind of normal. It just feels like it's it's massive. Okay, that's uh, my bow skills are at level seven. My piety is up to four pips. My archery, yeah, my archery is solid. My mephitic is regular, and this is a very promising look. I mean, not promising, but you know, it's a solid run. I have very little doubt that I'll make it to the lair, provided I don't do anything stupid before then. Um, that's all the time I have for now, so I will see you guys next time when this run continues with L5.